six feet under, bitch. Her suitcase is a machine gun. Roberta the Terminator. Y'all have been on my ass in the comments. And check out the CJ the Champion. React to it. Okay. So homeboy pull up again and he's like, huh, I know exactly who you are now. You're the bloodhound of Florencia. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a $4 million bounty on your head right now. But she just looks at him and says, sorry, but I must leave you, gentlemen. Please take these as a parting gift. This girl goes to show some some of her thong and then grenades fall out. Meanwhile, meanwhile, she has a cross on her chest. I mean, that's what Christian private schools really be like, though. They be like the worst place. Christian private schools are worse than normal public schools. Like, like they be thotting it up at Christian private schools. I never went to one, but I'm going to assume. Um, based off the stories I've heard. Hold up. I think some nut just got in my mouth. Hold on. Hang that nigga. So it wasn't nut, it was foot fungus. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the streets of Rowanaburg, the home of gang pirates, pirates, mercenaries, and probably every goddamn mafia you could probably think of. This is none other than the Black Air Force Crockpot. So as expected, there is a new challenger approaching to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Okay. And it's none other than a maid. I beg your pardon? Yeah. This absolute He looks old demon this literal menace to society the bloodhound of florencia hold up did she just go menace. zoro oh my goodness gracious zoro i found your wife i found your to wife society the bloodhound of florencia roberta the definition of do not judge a book by its cover because this is did she turn into a vampire it's not a maid this is a terminator i would not be surprised if somebody said this is a t something model so y'all already know we got the evidence on deck and it is finally time to observe the maid from hell so without further ado exhibit a i mean i mean i hit as long as she keeps her glasses on but the second she takes off her glasses it's a no-go i'm sorry it's a no-go like i i, I know y'all saw those wrinkles on her face like i like i'm not in the milfs like that you know is this nigga serious i'm, I'm really not in the milfs you, you feel me like oh um, my I'm, I'm sorry all right ladies and gentlemen i now present to you exhibit a the prelude to madness so the Lagoon Company ended up taking this job from the Colombian Mafia. And with this job, they have to transfer this boy named Garcia. Garcia look like a bitch. Let's, let's be, mafia. let's be real. Job, look at this nigga. He don't even look like no Garcia. This is not a Garcia, bro. His name is Logan. This boy named Garcia. Look at those long ass socks. What do you need those long ass socks for? You've never played a sport in your life. No, no, we're not letting Garcia slide. He looks so dirty. His socks nearly go all the way up to his knees. Why is his hair like that? It's like he has two separate parts to his hairstyle. His, the front of his head look like it's just glued on. Like it's a fucking patch. No. Now why is Garcia here, bro? This boy named Garcia. I mean, sorry, Logan. Now you see, Garcia isn't an ordinary kid. Because legit right here is the son to one of the 13 great families of South America. No one so cares. Right, he keeps on harassing the little nigga. So then he says, oh, you must think this real funny, huh? Just wait till my maid come. So she started laughing her ass off. She like, the f*** that bitch gonna do? Wash the dishes, nigga. But then he says, well, you see, she's not that good at cleaning or cooking. And when we used to arm wrestle all the time, I always used to beat her. But one time when we was arm wrestling, the mafia pulled up and her arm wouldn't even move. Oh my God. What the f Okay. I was going to say something smart. I was about to be like, oh my God, you can, her move, her arm didn't move in this weak ass arm wrestle. And then I saw these broly sized arms, broly sized biceps, like her sh oh my god. Fuck me, you know? Like, like bend me over. <laughs> no, okay. I do not approve of pegging. Oh my god, that bicep! <laughs> so Roberta ends up pulling up to Rowanipur to find Garcia. So when she gets there, she goes around and starts asking people, hello. Do you know where you could point me to my fellow countrymen? I would like to have a word with them. And these is like, you want to know where the Colombian Mafia is at? You got to be out of your damn mind. But she's like, I just want to have a word. That's all. 
So while this is happening, Beyond like, there, yeah. like so homie right here, like, come right about like, you should take a look at this. Shit. So it gives her this picture and she's like, hold on, wait a damn minute. Comrade, this ain't no damn maid. Look at them eyes. Oh, she got that dog in her. So now we cut to the bar. So Roberta is sitting here waiting for the mafia. So when they pull up, they like, hey, bitch, heard you was snooping around the fuck you want a bullet, nigga. So she ends up breaking her glass. See, now you just doing too much. That man at the bar didn't do nothing to you. He didn't do nothing to you. And now look, he might die in the crossfire because you want to be a terrible maid. Like you can't cook or clean. You are a bodyguard, not a maid. Stop with these false titles. She gets up and she's like, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Roberta of the Lovelace family. Now, please tell me where my master is. I would not like this to get violent. When they start laughing their ass off, they like, the what? What you gonna do, throw a dish? So then she starts lifting up her umbrella. So then she says, well, Looks like I'm just gonna have to air this bitch out then. You what? I'm sorry, huh? SpongeBob and I were f Hold up, hold up. Maybe, 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 maybe I didn't see that right. Maybe I didn't see that right. You what? Her umbrella's a shotgun. Her umbrella is a shotgun. Okay. What is that umbrella made out of? Oh my god. So they like, hey nigga, show that bitch. So they start blasting and she enters the matrix. So after they stop firing, she's like, hmm, y'all got stormtrooper aim. Allow me to show you my new aimbot I just installed. So she started going crazy. <laughs> okay, there's no way that 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 that, that umbrella is holding that many bullets. There, there's no way. Who made that? Johnny Test sisters? That doesn't make sense. How they get? How how that just happens? Did Boma create that? What scientific genius created this this murder weapon? Everybody getting pellets in their ass. Pause. So as she continues to air the entire bar out, the she has. Pause. So as. This looks like the uh a, a mobile game like shooter. This is this is like when you go to the arcade and you have the little gun and you're like there are like enemies on your screen. You have to go like like one of these. You have to go like these. As she continues to air the entire bar out, the goon could be taking cover under this table and Dutch like, damn, why do we always get stuck with these stupid ass jobs? But then Revy starts crawling over and then the <laughs> bartender sees her and look at him. He's like, I swear to God, if you was the one who. Guys, guys, look at Revy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I know this 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 video wasn't specifically for Revy, but yeah. Goodness. But all these niggas up in my damn bar. Bitch, I hope you have insurance. So then everything just goes quiet. So homeboy back there, like, hey the f Lagoon Company, hey, nigga, f is my package at? And Dutch is like, nah, OG, the deal's off. I ain't messing with that maid over there. <laughs> so Roberta sees Garcia, she's like, ah, oh, Master Garcia, come now, my boy. It is time to go home. Who are these people? Do they need to be eliminated? So then Revy grabs him. She's like, ah, 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 stop. Yeah. So Roberta, yeah, Revy. You dare threaten the yeah. master. So homeboy right here try to sneak her, but then she hits him with the reverse no scope. Oh, my God. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You have to be a special type of trash to get hit with that no scope right there. Like you actually have to be garbage. That was natural selection. He didn't deserve the right to live. Let's let's be real. God. Oh, that's nasty. She is like that. So then she's like, hmm, very well then. So you have chosen death. Time to put your ass six feet on the bitch. So she starts like Her suitcase is a machine gun. I'm not gonna lie, ever since Johnny Tess was canceled, I guess those sisters have been on a rampage. They have been seeking violence and only violence. Cause that's some BS. That 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 is really BS. I I there's no there's no other way for me to explain this beside BS. Like Boma's self-defense is is top tier. If this is what she packing on her. She be opening capsules, and these capsules are 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 suitcases with machine guns. Dexter? You think Dexter's creating these? Dexter is a menace though. Like this is a Dexter type thing to do. So she starts lighting it up with the briefcase. And then she hit it with the noob tube. Oh my god.
God, GG, she is out cold. A new tube nigga. She just really packed up Revy in the amount of 10 seconds. So then they trying to dip I it even Garcia is BS. like, please, God, take me with you. So Roberta just drops a briefcase. She's like, absurd. Master Garcia is scared of me. So homeboy pull up again. And he's like, huh, I know exactly who you are now. You're the bloodhound of Florencia. Her little, her little boy is scared of her. I mean, that's what happens when, when you get a when you get a nuke, a 30 kill streak right in front of him. Like you're more than bloodthirsty. I could have caught a canine unit with the amount of kills you got. Your score streaks through the roof. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a four million dollar bounty on your head right now. But she just looks at him and says, "Sorry." But I must leave you. Jimmy. Oh yeah, here's the grenades. Please take these as a parting gift. Oh shit! Mm. She just doesn't care. Didn't even stand a chance, man. So Lagoon Company dipping, they gone. Great heavens! Look at this absolute demon. She is unscathed, and she is hitting the Sephiroth pose right now. Is she? She must have some relation to Jesus. Get off that nigga dick, bro. What is you doing? So that must be what it is. Because there's no way she just not only survived the explosion, didn't get away from the explosion, and standing in fire without anything burning. It is absolutely there is nothing it burning is on her body. And she is hitting the Sephiroth pose right now. And she breaks this window with no effort. This is the Terminator. So about five minutes later, while they driving, she done already caught up. Is she whipping that hoe? God damn. So Dutch pulls out the gun and starts trying to shoot her. But she drives up, grabs this by the arm, and starts pulling him out of the car. Okay, now your 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 black card is revoked. You are getting straight bitched right now. I'm not gonna lie. You're I'm not associating with you no more. You're not Nero. You're not Negro. We pass you to the Caucasians, the Asians, the Mexicans, whoever else, because you just got a bitch by a maid. This is, I, this is, you're, you're a grown man. You are, you are grown. You're a grown ass Negro, and this is, this is what you're, what's just happening to you. I don't want you a part of my race. <laughs> no, this is, this is disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie. And look at it, be hitting on everything, but she just eating that. Sh She's not even flinching, but her Wait, her name is Roberta? Oh! That means Satan in Hebrew! <laughs> it makes sense! She's Satan's younger sister! Car finally breaks down, so they finally get a chance to escape. But this did not last long at all. Cause about a minute later, she is whipping that hoe on the roof! So she jumps down and crashes into him and uses her aimbot to take out their wheel. So she crashed into this building, but she breaks out of the car! You surviving car crashes like that? She won the wrong series, you need to take your ass to Fast and Furious. I think, like, you start to realize, once, once they're doing stuff that you can't even do in GTA, that's when you know they're just, they're just a different being. They're just, they're just completely different. They're not normal. We just, we would never understand. Dolo Vin Diesel ass. And look at this run. Oh my God. <laughs> she tracking that hoe down with that CW flash ass run. So she whips these things out and jumps onto the car. Ain't no like, way. I'm about to shoot this bitch. So he starts blasting, but she whips on top of the car, pulls out the doolies, and starts going crazy on the roof. What so is they end this? Up going over to the shipping yard, and she gets cracked by this car. <laughs> so they end up crashing, and it looks like she's finally out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What the? This is not how gravity works. Why is the maid outfit like doing this? Like, gravity would not have this happen. Where, where? Like, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see where she's hiding all those grenades at. To be honest, where where are you putting the grenades at? Hmm? I need to see the inside of that. Just is, I need to see the layout, and I need to know who made it. Cause if 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 if, if made outfits come with grenades in them, I'm gonna start rocking one. He's finally out. So they look over again, and she is gone, and she is back. She ready Jason for, for real. Smoke. So Revy finally wakes up and she's like, damn, that bitch really pulled the noob tube on my ass. Revy's hands big as hell. Oh my God. Kawhi Leonard ass heads. She be making herself bleed when she play with her cooch with those. He finally wakes up and she's like, damn, that bitch really pulled the noob tube on my ass.
I should return the favor. So they start standing off for their final fight. So Revy says, make a move, bitch. Then Roberta says, shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. I can smell oh. your dirty ass all the way from here, you stank booty hoe. So oh. they start blasting, and this goes on for like god knows how long it was dark when they started and it's almost morning like how much <laughs> ammo do y'all have <laughs> later on she ended up putting a bullet in revy's shoulder and look at this she like I i'm not gonna lie revy so revy i'm not gonna lie to you you probably would have been able to dodge that bullet if you just zip your shorts up oh, it stinks nice and good what's the point of having your shorts like 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 this Honestly, with the lack of with this amount of shorts on, there's no point of having them on in the first place. I'm not gonna lie. They're just panties at that point. They're, that's really what they are. I just, just take them off. <laughs> Putting a bullet in Revy's shoulder. And look at this. She like, I swear to God, I'm gonna put a bullet in your little googly-eyed ass. So they come out shooting and start running at each other. So they end up hitting each other. So they both- There's no way their aim is that bad. Balalaika ends up stopping them. She's like, all right, ladies, let's cut out the bullshit. And she done brought the whole Russian mafia with her. So she walks up and says, you know, I got to thank you, Miss Maid. I was going to deal with the cartel today, but <laughs> guess you done already did that. So she shoots the guns out of both of their hands and grabs one. Then she says, she you done did already what? did that. So she shoots the guns out of both of their hands. No, those, those trained soldiers are something different. And grabs one. Then she says, I right, miss Bloodhound. You could go home now. So Garcia's like, Bloodhound? What do you mean by that? And she says, oh, you didn't know? So she tries to stop it. She's like, ah, 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 shut the f up for a bust a cap in your ass, n***a. Damn. Let me tell y'all. Personally, I wouldn't have that happen to me. Like, personally speaking, like, I, I, I slap the gun right out of her hand, turn on her and shoot her and then piss on her body. That's just me, though. Like, ain't no one doing me that dirty. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. So called Maid is the bloodhound of Florencia. She is a literal Cuban super soldier. Mm. She is wanted in every single country in the world. Damn. Oh, Garcia's like, hold on. Is this true? And she's like, yeah, it's all true. I've killed hundreds, probably thousands, glooshed up, and so many unthinkable things. <laughs> I'm an international menace to society. And she's, she's smiling like, too. Young master, I did not mean to deceive you, but it was for your own safety. But Revy's like, nah, f that sob story. Shit. F am I gonna do with this bullet in my arm? So they like, oh, you right. So uh, y'all can settle it with some bare knuckle boxing. So they are oh about my to scrap. God, it just flew into my head. I don't know. It's just the way these two women are staring at each other. My sexual energy, the sexual attention is just absolutely magnificent. Like, I started stroking immediately. <laughs> My God, bro! Like, where did that where did that meme even start? Like, where did that come from? Who started that? Cause I'll just be on TikTok scrolling through comments, and that's all I'm seeing, bro. Like, bro, it flew into my hand so quick. Where did who 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 what why? Before they start, Roberta says, "Hey, your shoes untied." Damn! That's natural selection. There's no way she fell for that. No, that's natural selection. You deserve that. Send her ass to the stratosphere. So they start going crazy. They boxing. And they over here taking best like, I got a full house on Revy. Huh. I'm going all in on Roberta, nigga. So they ended up boxing for like an hour. And then they just. I thought she had a. I thought she had a bullet in her shoulder. She looked fine to me. So after this, they leave, and she vows to never off anybody ever again. BS. Well, uh, <laughs> that promise didn't go so well. BS. What we just saw was mild compared to what we are about to witness. So mild. That was exhibit A, and it is finally time mild to cap exhibit B. Cap. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Vengeance and Rip and Tear. So about a year later, word on the street is that Roberta is back because somebody saw somebody in a maid outfit. So while Rock and Revy are at the bar, this maid comes up, but it's not Roberta. It's this girl named Fabiola. So she walks up to Fabi who? Up, but it's not Roberta. It's this girl named Fabiola. Fabioli, I need an ID. I need an ID before I can say anything I, I, I'm about to say. Wait, wait, where's your ID at? Uh. She walks up to him and says, Master Garcia needs your help. But then homie behind her picks her up and he's like, Never mind. Never mind. What the fuck? She's like 4'11", bro. Get out of here. Oh, lady, uh, where is the actual real maid at? She ends up stabbing this- What? Never mind, Ravioli. I love you, Ravioli. Ravioli, I, I love you, Ravioli. I love you. I love you, okay? Okay, so death to us part, Ravioli. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Golly.
That man is praising, praising to um to ah, Allah, right? Allah. This man, <laughs> how much you wanna bet? Like she cut perfectly through the sack, so he had like his left testicles like still in, hanging in the sack, and his right one still hanging in the sack, and it's just like they both slowly rolled out together. I know you're mentally ill. That's probably like the accuracy she had. So she takes everybody over to Garcia. So then he says, all right, listen up, everybody. I need your help. You see, my maid has gone off the walls again. So what had happened was Mr. Lovelace ended up getting assassinated by some Americans. Mm, so obviously, fucking Americans. this didn't sit well with Roberta because that was basically her father figure because Mr. Lovelace ended up taking in Roberta after she was on the run. That's why she poses as a maid. So this ended up waking up her inner demon again. I mean, that's she's fair. Slowly losing her sanity. So they showed them these pictures and there were six people that helped conspire with this assassination. So we cut over to one of the dudes and Roberta is back behind him, stalking him. So he runs away. And there is to no him. way that this woman walking in a maid outfit isn't inconspicuous as fuck. One of the people on the phone, but Roberta answers the phone. She's like, my, my, I've been looking for you, buddy. And don't try to call your other friends because... <laughs> I've already paid them a bit oh, what too. The hell? About a day later, homie's body was found dead and disfigured in a canal. Disfigured? Her next was homeboy right here. So she got him chained up on this thing and he like, do you know who I am? And she like, yes, I know exactly who you are. Pee on right him. Now, you should kill yourself. Fuck niggas. You best start talking before your ass start cooking. And yo, she is guzzling down she chopping them hoes like tic tacs and she like come on now chop chop speak no she's crazy no she's insane what the hell no she's 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 scary she's terrifying i don't know what else to, i don't know how else to call it i don't i don't up nigga and later that day homie was found dead and the only suspect she was gargling on coal burning coal she was gargling on burning coal was a woman in a maid outfit. So later on, we cut back to the bar and Roberta pulls up in the bar. Then she says, there's a war coming. Please point me to every single weapon shop in this city. Please and thank you. So the bartender like, oh, hell no. Nah. But then she breaks the glass and she's like, do you think I'm joking? Now hurry up before I make you a pack. So the Americans are in town and everybody in the hood going crazy. Cause all hell is about to break loose. Random gangsters and bounty hunters, Revy and her crew, the CIA and the cartel, all because of one person. Where's Tupac at? Tupac with light ass up. Where is Michael Jackson? Roberta. So now later that evening, the gangsters try to pull up on the Americans, but they end up lighting them up. They say we rep the U.S. of A in this motherfucker. So they end up escaping to the roof, and there is a sniper on the other side, and it is none other than the Roberta. Roberta. With the Barrett. She's shooting that b with one arm. She's handling the recoil with one arm, and she has a fist like she's about to punch a shockwave over there. Why is she pose like this? Fifty cow. She started unloading on them and she got the She looked bad us. now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, Roberta. Hold up. Everything I said earlier was cat. Okay. I was I was just talking. I didn't know any better. You know, I just I had, you know, there's a little bit of sleep in my eye. My eye, my contacts got blurry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, bro. And she got the new two for a sidearm. So then the other dudes come in and try to third party her, but she starts no scoping them with one hand. She is using a 50 cal with one. Oh my god, look at me like that. Oh my god. We must stay focused, brothers. And oh my Jesus, face up the face my brother in this. And then she ends up pole vaulting all the way to another building. And look at the dudes right here. They like, bruh, what did we sign up for? So now it's nightfall and the Americans are on the run. And the bloodhound is on the ass. So she gets on the ground and starts smelling the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, she watched she, she watched too much Dragon Ball. She 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 watched Goku and Naruto use their super scented nose and just start detective sniffing, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. She's a real she's the real main character. If she has super super nose, she's a real main character. Like she was watching Hunter Hunter and she was like, you know what? Let me let me use this. Let me use this ability real quick. <laughs> Smell some dirty Americans, uh, 25 miles. 
Ah, uh, 25 miles east. Ah. Uh. Take off your pants. She's like, I smell bitch. So she gets up in this room and she's like, hmm, I should prepare. Damn. I should use this hanger as a weapon so garcia ends what? up running in behind her and then he just sees the absolute carnage that she has just left now nah, getting a hung getting killed by a hanger is ridiculous you're just an l you're an l if you're getting killed by a hanger what type of <laughs> you, you you're a lame ass me if you get killed by a hanger <laughs> so these do see this guy and they like hey bro what's happening bro and well uh guess who's behind them hello so she ends up beating the life out of these dudes with her bare hands. So then this weirdo comes up and he's like, hmm, looks like the bloodhound is more ferocious than ever. So they start boxing. He, he low-key kind of boxing her up right now. Ooh. So then he slams her on this table. And then, yo, yo, some weird ass shit happens right here. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. You know, I'm blacking the screen now because I all you just gotta know is some, uh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. If you get my drift. What? The only one way to find out what he's talking about. This is not what I was expecting when I like I should have specified Black Lagoon. Oh my god. Boobs! Oh my god. This is still not what I Okay. Alright. Alright. Wow. My search history history is doomed. Yo, this man Garcia is out here watching this. Oh my god, this is terrible. So why are they getting freaky? He said, alright, you know what to do next. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. With some bullets. Yo, she really- She has bullets in her belt? She has bullets in her belt? How prepared can you be? She just had sex and then killed him. Had a gun in the belt buckle. Then she said, you thought we was gonna get nasty with your dirty ass. So then she starts beating the life out of this man. She throwing him around like a rag doll and everything. So then Garcia yells, yo, please stop. And yo, her hand went through his entire skull. So then she's like, oh my God. Oh my God, I did not just do that in front of the young master. But then she's like, wait a minute. The young master shouldn't be here. You are an illusion. You are a lie. What? <laughs> she went crazy. <laughs> she turned straight to a yandere. This woman is crazy. This woman, this woman is insane, bro. What the world? So she is about to shoot this little nigga. But then the Americans come in and save him. So then this even sets her off even more. She's like, oh my. God, now they took the young master? They will all bleed and die. This woman is crazy. And later on, Revy and her crew pull up. So they ain't old girl tries. Who is this? She is slim thick. Nah, I ain't seen, I don't think I've seen an anime character with like hips like, like these though. Oh my goodness. Why is it, oh my God. They did her hips crazy, bro. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Run up and attack her, but she bites her sword in half. Yo, yo, Roberto, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a butt like you bad, but I swear if you, kill, if you kill this girl, we're gonna have a problem. Then old girl comes in with the chainsaw and she breaks the chainsaw. So then homie come up right here, but. That was so weak, bro. So then Faviola comes and tries to stop her, but then she says, Faviola, have you watered the garden and taken the dog out for a walk yet? <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, she has completely lost her mind. So now Roberta's chasing them down on a motorcycle and Balalaika's up on top of the roof with the Russians. Then she starts talking to the Americans like, looks like you Americans could not get the job done. So mm. allow us to finish it. So they end up shooting multiple RPGs at her. And that finally- uh, I'm not gonna lie. They need, did they, they need this much manpower to kill one girl, one woman. Y'all weak. Ended up slowing her down. So the Americans hitch a ride with Lagoon Company to retreat. But also, guess who's still hot on their tail? So Roberta got this plane ticket. So she sits down by the lady and the lady says, damn, you smell like ass. Looks like you found that ticket I left you. And this is none other than our favorite nun, Etta. The one that'll like the block. She's the, she's the priest with a Glock. Oh, yes. Up in the name of Jesus. Yes. But she's actually a double agent for the CIA. So she tries to swing on her. She's like, hold on, shawty, chill. I'm just trying to help you out. That's all. So she's like, hmm, fine. But after my hunt is complete, I will reward you with a painless death. 
So now it's the next day and they're in this jungle. So they head off. So when they get out to the land and they start scouting it, they start to see rocks spread out around the land. And Garcia and Faviola like, oh, sh she already here. She about <laughs> to make this a dead by daylight lobby. And boy, oh boy, was he right because she was about to make this a horror movie. Because with this scenery, she done turned into the predator. She turned to an assassin for real. So she grabs this hostage and takes off. Then she stops, cuts off his ear, and then goes into the jungle. So these dudes hunting her down and she is hanging in the tree. So she pops this and then lands on this dude's gun, then kicks his head off and then- Let's reward how strong that guy was to have a full grown woman standing on his gun and it did not bend over at all. That man was strong. Treats. So then she finds these other three dudes. So then she pops on me with the musket. And then they finally realize, oh my God, those rods are literally her bullets. She placed them there for them to see what they were going to get killed by. Then oh she my. Then up on this dude and pops him right in his face. But then she ends up getting hit by a claymore. And then she ends up getting sniped. But she ate that and she Okay, nah, she, she's, she's healing way too fast. Okay. Did someone give her a, a, a notch apple? Okay. What type of golden apple did she eat? Cause this is, this is just BS at this point. She is still moving. Oh my God. What the fuck is she made of? She just ate a claymore and a bullet and is still moving. But she ended up losing some fingers. So she's like, hmm, I don't need these shits. So then she just flings them off. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? Why is she like this? What was her, what was her childhood? Who raised her? And just acts like nothing happened. So now she's moving in the bushes, so she sneaks homie in the back. But then homie starts rapid firing, so she runs at him at full speed, eating bullets, and she stabs this with the bayonet. So then she picks up his walkie talkie and she's like, mm, 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 you all are dropping like flies. Make this at least a little entertaining for me. She's scary. She's really, she's really scary. So then bro with the ponytail started running at her, but she chucks the whole gun at him. And she's like, hear my war cry. She's an animal she now. Ends up seeing Garcia and he's like, yo, please just stop. But she's still losing her mind. She's like, you are not the young master. You are the enemy. But then he basically has to take a whole bullet to believe that it's him. So she finally just stopped it. Dear God, thank the Lord. Like, bro, just look at her. She is beat the f up. So after all of her carnage, she now getting pushed around in a wheelchair. She done lost a leg, an arm, half a hand, an eye, half a hair. And look at her, she's still like, I'll still kill them on God. That was such a weak way to go. There's no way she that all that happened. And 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 she still, she she like that was so weak. I would have lit up Garcia. My bad, Logan. I would have lit Logan's ass up on Saul. So yeah, with all that evidence sit down, there's no discussion, there's no argument. This damn Terminator, Predator, Doom Guy ass She took on the USA, Russia, the cartel, Colombian special forces. God knows what she did in her backstory. <laughs> she technically beat the protagonist. Nah, sit down, that's a wrap. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I think this might be the longest trial to date. So yeah, I hope you I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see what like, what, what happened when she got clapped. No, <laughs> no she, she's actually terrifying. Like I, I, like I was legitimately, legitimately scared. I was shaking a little bit. I was getting hard at some parts too, but I mean, I was just, I just felt like that was, that was, Expected. I mean, did, did y'all see her? 